Hello everyone and welcome. On this episode we are going to be displaying text. Also we are going to be changing the text programmatically. So if you want to know how that's done, stick around and let's get started. So to get started we are going to create a new UI text. And as you can see the text box is really small. So to change this we are going to click here on this square and then holding Alt and Shift we are going to click this button right here and this will expand the text box to fill the entire canvas. But we do not want that because that will make the text overlap our image. So we need to change the transform. We are going to give a padding to the top. I would say 250 is too much so let's go by 100. And we can go even further, 120. And then we are going to add a padding to the left side of around 20 pixels, to the right side of around 20 pixels, and on the bottom of around 20 pixels. And this will make our text box this size right here, as you can see. Then let's just paste some text right here. And this is where we will write our own story. And we are going to change the color of the text to white. Because if you look in the game tab, you will see that since our background is mostly black, if we have the black font, we will not be able to see anything. So let's go a whitish color. And we can go full white. Also, we would want our paragraphs to be aligned at the center. And this is depending on your taste. You can also align it to the middle of the text box, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and increase the font size because that's really small and we need to be able to read it well. So let's go by around 28 pixels should be more than enough. You can mess around with the line spacing if you would like. That will only change the spacing right here. We can, yeah, we can leave it at 1.3, there's no problem. So next thing, we want to change this uh, game object's name from text to story text, just so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, if you run the game, this is the text that we have, but we want to be able to change this text programmatically or in a script. So how do we do that? We do that by creating a new c -sharp script. So right-click the scripts folder, go create c -sharp script and let's call it text controller. This script is responsible for controlling the story text. Then just go ahead and drag it to the story text. And as you can see, it's now added right here. And if you now jump into Visual Studio and reload the project, you will see that this is the text controller script. We have a start method and we have an update method. Well, the first thing we need is a reference to the text. And to get a reference to the text, we need right here in the top to be using Unity Engine dot UI and then here we need to declare a variable so public we want it to be public so it can show in the inspector and what type of variable do we want we want a variable of type text and then we can give it a name so let's go story well if you jump back to unity and wait for it to recompile, you will see that here on our text controller we now have a field for a text variable. So just drag the story text to there. Now this script knows about this text and it can do things like change it. So on the start method we can go story dot text is going to be equals hello world and the start method runs once 
whenever we start our game. So, as you can see, we have this text right here, and if we run the game, it changes to Hello World, just like we tell it to do right here. But what if we want the text to change only when we click the spacebar? Well, for that we need to use the, this update method right here. And this update method will run every frame. So we can get some logic out of what's happening in the program. So inside the update method we can go if and we are going to be checking if the input dot get key down and what key do we want we go key code dot and we can go space so this will test if the space key was pressed and if that's correct we can now copy this text put it right here so story dot text is going to be equals to space bar was pressed if we save the file, go back to Unity, and as you can see, we have this text right here. When we run the game, it will change to Hello World, and if I press the spacebar, it will change to Spacebar was pressed, just like we wanted, just like this. And this is the foundation for how we are going to move around in this text adventure. So now I'm going to get a little bit of story right here and I will be right back. And I've already written a little bit of the story, the first panel, the introduction. So as you can see we have the story text right here and once I hit play this text will change to the first panel. So let's go ahead and click it and as you can see you wake up, the room you are in is damp and the air stale. Next to you is a small candle illuminating a rocky tunnel. And we have two options. We can either hit C to grab the candle or we can hit R to check the tunnel. So let's go ahead and just click C to know to check where this goes. You got the candle. So if I rerun the game and instead of hitting C I click R, you check the tunnel. And this is the foundation upon we upon what we are going to build our game. And with this, you can already start to create your own games. As you can see, the text, the text, the script and the code is very simple. We just write our story here in the in Visual Studio and in the update, we just simply change whenever we click a key. And with that, we reach the end of this episode. On the next one, we are going to be changing the game slightly to check for states. And we are going to be introducing the state machine. So, for instance, right now we are on the intro state. If we happen to click C, we go to the candle state or any other state that we want. And if you would like to see that, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I will see you on the next one. Cheers!